Welcome back, guys. So today I've got a pretty interesting one for you. At least I think so anyway, as it brought about a case of deja vu, because this little box here looks very similar to a product of the same exact name that came out like five or six years ago. And I've been told that this is the new version for 2020 of the Revo K101 Plus. I've seen a few people talking about this, but let's go ahead and get that out of the way as I've already unboxed it. Doesn't really come with too much. Mine didn't come with a manual or anything, but it did come with the freaking screwdriver. I don't know why. And then it also came with a mini USB charger. Holy crap. That really makes me believe that this is not an updated unit. Now, you go USB-C or USB micro, is that, people have those cables all over the place. This is a special cable to me because if I lose this, I don't have any more of them. Freaking ridiculous. So what is this thing? Now, I actually do think this thing is kind of neat. Now, in the current climate of things, it may not be as viable as there's tons of emulation devices out there, but this thing does have a couple unique things going on for it. So it is a Game Boy Advance hardware clone. As you can see back there, it even has a serial number. Holy crap, why? Like Nintendo didn't make this. And then it has a little flash cart that it came with. Not really so much a flash cart, just you could load ROMs up on the micro SD card. I've got a 32 gigabyte micro SD card that came with this and it has Game Boy Advance games on it. So this does not work on original hardware. Now with this thing, you can either use this to load your games or Get over here, guys. You could load up original cartridges or even like repros such as these. Pretty cool stuff. These can be loaded up on here just fine. Now, you cannot use this. This does not work on this. But the other thing, too, to keep in mind, with an original Game Boy Advance, you can play like original Game Boy or Game Boy Color games just fine. You just pop them in, obviously. I mean, this is not a tutorial for the way a Game Boy Advance normally works, but as you can see, that works with this just fine. We could load up Game Boy games. Now, this does not work with that, but it does work with original Game Boy Advance games, so that's kind of kind of strange to me. But, okay, let's just go ahead and get into it, pop in the K card that it came with. Uh, the form factor is pretty much the same as the original from like I said, like five or six years ago, but this just looks really nice. I'm not sure if this is like tinfoil, aluminum, or what, but this thing was kind of cold when I first got it. So I think this is some kind of metal on the front here because the plastic wasn't as cold. It was frosty outside, you know, and this was kind of frosty as well. So there's that A, B, X, Y, select, start, D-pad. Everything actually feels decently well. There's been a lot of current products that have come out that I feel like the buttons were shit, whereas this one feels pretty good. There's your stupid ass charge port, mini USB, get the hell out of here. A brightness button that's also used for a bunch of other things. An AV out, so you can play this on a CRT. It came with the like a composite cable. And then a link cable port, so you could trade Pokemons or play multiplayer games. I don't have a link cable right now. I couldn't find mine. I have one on order, so if people are interested, I will do a short video showing that this can be linked with another Game Boy Advance, a real Game Boy Advance, and play multiplayer games. So when that comes in, I'll, I'll do that, I guess. So there's all that. You got some indicator lights right there. You got a volume wheel on the side there. And then on the bottom, um, reset pokey hole headphones. That's about it. And then your serial number back there. So this thing, it's kind of wonky. Like, I don't have any directions for this thing. Um, but like resetting it, holding the power, like I have to hold the power button down for a while. It's kind of crazy. You can hot swap cartridges, but if you remove this, I think it gives you like an error and you can't do anything. So if I try to pop in another cartridge, it, it won't respond to it which I kind of find odd. So you either start with this one plugged in or an original cartridge. If you have an original cartridge plugged in, you could hot swap around. So let's take a look at what we could do here. Let me zoom up a little closer, give you guys the best visuals possible. 
So the left and right triggers, boom, boom. You can go through some options here. Now, we have Game Boy Advance games on here. There's a few of them. You know, I, I'm Soldier Boy approved, right? Pretty cool stuff. I don't really like the user interface here. It's definitely not that great. And it's pretty much the same from quite a while ago, right? I don't think the specs on this are any different than the unit that came out a long while back as I've been trying to find it, like specs for this thing, because I mean, it's the 2020 version for what? Just because it has a new shell, I guess? But I'm pretty sure it's the same specs. I'll put them up on the screen somewhere. But okay, there was our games that are on that, that cartridge down there. Then we have some options, language, display, um, scaling, that kind of thing, brightness. You could just go through here and do the brightness or just press the button up top and it'll cycle through. So there's that, TV scaling. You have a couple options, power, NTSC, if you're plugging this thing into a TV. Keypad, uh, who cares? Real-time clock, it does have a real-time clock. You could set that bishop. File filter, who cares? Miscellaneous, boot up screen on, Game Boy Advance splash screen on, auto sleep, wake up, okay. Then you could save your settings there. You go to help and it gives you all the different hotkey options that you have. As you see, the star button is just that brightness button. So you would hold that and press those buttons to do all sorts of things. The main important one here, if you're playing Game Boy Advance games, is that screen aspect ratio down in that, that, that button up there. And I'll show you that in a moment. And then it also tells you supported file types. You can play a bunch of other systems on here. So we'll have to do a follow-up video because we're just going to test Game Boy Advance for now. There's some more dumbass information. So let's go ahead and just get into a game that's loaded up on here. Boom. Now, let me lower the brightness because it's going to be washed out to, to hell here. Uh, I guess that's as good as it gets for now. So Mario Kart uh, Super Circuit. If you're used to the Game Boy Advance, like this is not right. So you want to change the aspect ratio. Boom. You could also shrink that bitch down to pretty small. Go full screen. This is a three inch screen or stick it to the original aspect ratio. That's really what we want. So I've, I've tested quite a few games that are running off of this micro SD card. And they all run fine. I haven't had any issues with sound or anything like that. It just seems fine. The, the max volume, it's, you're probably not, my mic's probably not going to pick it up very well. The max volume's just kind of low. I mean, it's not really too loud, but it works. It's loud enough for me, but I know some people always want things to be louder. So I got to point that out. Oh, there's your, your, your viewing angles. Not the, not the greatest, not the worst. Mostly tilting that way fucks it up, but going that way and that way. Yeah, we're getting glare here. Come at me with that, bro. Don't do it. Um, that way, that way, it's all fine. But going that way, you're not fine. Okay? So now that we have that covered. So I just want to show this game working. I'm going to hot swap some games around. Show you guys some stuff. Like, this one never works on emulation type devices. But I'll show you here. Oh, shit. We got, we got lost here. The, I'm looking at my, my viewfinder... Um, the colors are not as vibrant as what they look like in real life here. I've been trying to tweak that the best I can, but it does look good to me in real life. Very bright. The greens are a lot darker in my visuals in the real world here. Boom. So there's, there's, there's some Mario Kart action. Now I don't know how you, there we go. We got out of there. So you got game cheats as well. You could like put game cheats on with this included cart, that kind of thing. Pretty cool. So let's just get out of that, pop in some other games, take this thing out. Now I'm going to show you, like for example, these games have saves, right? Mother 3. And if you're playing on this device, that would be a concern that some people have. And I've thoroughly tested this. To make sure it works, um, play, putting a save on here or saving my game works just fine. I'm not having any issues with that. I save my game on here. 
take it on over to this and the save file is there. No problem. No big deal. So there's that. That's a repro game running. There's that. Seven seven thirty nine. As far as how long we've played, let's. I'm gonna walk around. I'll just speed up through this in a second, and I'll, I'll show you that you know the save file works. So, all right, let's let's fight this bitch. All right, so let's go back and save. And you remember it said seven hours thirty nine minutes. So let's find that stupid frog. Hopefully it's been a minute. Seven hours, 40, 40 minutes. See that? Does that work for you? Let's go ahead and get out of that. And then do you see it just like, it didn't like that. It didn't like that. But I've read you're, you're supposed to be able to do that. Just hot swap games around. So let me go ahead and put that in. Smashing drive. This game never... Run. It doesn't run on the Retron 5. It like crashes and makes a loud noise. But it plays just freaking fine on this thing. So that's pretty nice. Let me just get into it real quick. We'll, we'll, I'll show you the save file on this on the Game Boy Advance in a second. Just to show you that everything's fine. This has like voice, like voices in it, music, like actual lyrics and whatnot. Oh, shit. Crazy 3D game for the Game Boy Advance. This I, I like this game on the GameCube, but playing on the Game Boy Advance kind of neat. I've played a few races on this, and I've had no issues. This got ran over by that plane. I think that's a repair. Oh, bitch. So there you go. That worked. Let's go ahead and... Oh, that sucks. Hot swap that bitch. So that'll load up. And I'm going to show you. Let's zoom the fuck out. There we go. Mother 3 on this original, kind of original Game Boy Advance. I mean, it's an original board. You guys know what I'm saying. It's a real Game Boy Advance. Remember, 7 hours, 40 minutes. There you go. Save file saved, so that works. Actually, the speaker on this is louder than the speaker on this. There's uh, Metroid. So, yeah, these cartridges all work. I've tested everything. The games play just fine. It's a really interesting device. It's just really old technology that not too many people are going to care about. It's kind of neat. Because you can play Game Boy Advance cartridges, but then at the same time, if you just buy a Game Boy Advance, this thing, you're going to have a lot more things you could do with it compared to this as far as cartridges go. Sure, you could play NES games, Turbo Graphics, and all that. We'll have to test that stuff out more later. But in the year 2020, a device from five years ago getting a fresh new shell, I don't really think is going to be a huge selling point for a lot of people. I believe the website that sent this to me for purpose of review has this listed at $75, which is cheaper than what they were going for like five years ago. But that's kind of a freaking given. You know what I mean? Like technology gets cheaper. Um, but I still think this should be quite a bit more cheaper than that. That's just my opinion. This may be of interest to you. I just wanted to share my opinions and thoughts. The screen is pretty nice. The overall build quality seems pretty nice. But it's just an old device just brought back out with a, a new shell. Pretty much it. So, guys, really do appreciate you hanging out with me. And with that said, I will catch you all next time. Big ass double thumb butts. Look at them cheeks. Peace out. Bye-bye. And boom. Bye.